Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform an activity based on refraction of light. How re light gets reflected from passing from one material to another material. For that we require a glass slab, a pencil, a scale, few short pins, protector and a laser light. Laser light here to consider a point source of light. Now let's keep the glass slab at the center and we have to draw outline outline of it as you can see here the outline i have drawn here now very important take two pins short pins we have to place them okay so we have to place them here so this paper does not move make sure pins are penetrable to the paper or the your wooden box after drawing the outlines, I have given the name to the surfaces here as you can see PQRS. Now next move is draw an inclined straight line on side PQ. So this side I am going to draw a straight line. Now you can see I have drawn, uh, drawn an inclined line here. Now what do you have to do? This line cuts the uh, line PQ at point N. So let's give it a name and here now I have to draw a perpendicular line to this and that will be called the normal to this line this normal is at 90 degree to this line as you can see here now we can measure the angle of incidence here basically by keeping the protector here so as you can see I am keeping the protector on the you can see here on the normal line this is perfect and our angle of incidence is exactly and this is 40 degree as you can see here now I'll mark this angle 40 degree here this as 40 degree we just measure this angle as 40 degree and the you know that the line here coming from a point source of light this is called incident ray okay now I am going to put two short pins on this line okay, at any two positions here but they will be in a straight line. We have to make sure they are in a straight line. As you can see here two short pins I have put there. Okay. Now I am slowly going to put our glass slab over the outlines we have drawn here. Okay. Now we will observe the point A and point B from the opposite side of the slab. So we have to observe these two points. We have to observe these two points from the opposite of side of the slab that is from this side. So let's do that. Can we see the red and green two pins from this side? Yes we can see. Now we have to make adjust. We have to observe them. So they are in a straight line. So if you can see here. now. Now, can we see both the pins coming in a straight line? Yes, right? So, we are going to take another pin and we are going to place it in a way so all these pins are in a straight line. So, let me do that. Now, if we see here, all four pins are seem to be in a straight line. Now, we will remove these pins and we will draw the line in joining those points. We will consider these two points as C and D like here this line was cutting line PQ or surface PQ at point N similarly this these two points are cutting surface S and R at M so let's consider it as M okay now we'll remove the glass slab and we'll join the M and N point so here I remove the glass slab and I am going to join N point and to M point here. As you can see here I have joined point N and point M and you can see this is not a straight line we are getting. So let's do one thing. Let's draw normal for this line and let's draw a dotted line, straight line for this A B line. Okay. So 
this is a diagram what we get let's observe line a n that is incident incident ray and m d that is emergent ray so let's observe, observe these lines and we can come to the conclusion we know the nature of light that light travels in a straight line the light travels in a straight line but here when the light is passing from air medium the medium is air to the glass to the glass slab so we can see a shift we can see a shift from its direction the, the light has bent towards the normal so this is our normal here okay so light has bent towards the normal we can see the shift humne dekh sakte hain ki yahan pe light kya hua shift ho gaya hai yahan pe towards the normal so this is the refraction occurring this is refraction occurring when the light ray enters the glass enters the glass from air at point n on the side pq to jab ye side pq mein n point se light enter kiya to we can see the shift here this is refraction first refraction now second one is here the uh, second refraction here when the light when the light enters air yahan pe air mein wapas light aa raha hai ye ke dekh sakte ho aap light is coming entering in air again from the glass slab ye glass slab se ye light glass slab se air mein wapas aa raha hai to we can see here the straight line if we draw here so this is some this was supposed to go this line like this but it has moved away from the normal it has not bent this time it has moved away from the normal normal se abhi dur chala gaya hai so this is second refraction here and here we take angle of incidence as i this as refraction angle as r this incident angle for this side let's take i1 and here the light has emergent so we'll take this angle as e emergent angle so here we can see simply if we and the shift we see here one more thing i want to tell you and the shift we see here this shift of light from its path this is called lateral shift this is called lateral shift ye jo light ka shift hua hai so finally we can conclude when a ray of light when a ray of light passes from one medium or like air to the glass medium it bends towards the normal it bends towards the normal and when the ray of light passes from a denser medium okay one more important thing here is air is basically a rarer medium here rarer medium i mean to say the density is less and the glass medium is like density is more so i will say denser medium so i'm going to repeat it again when a ray of light passes from a rarer medium to denser medium here the glass slab it bends towards the normal it bends towards the normal this side and when a ray of light passes from denser medium to rarer medium rarer medium it moves away from the normal you can see it was supposed to come this side but ye kya hua move kar gaya so it moves away from the normal away from the normal so this is the refraction of light for the last time i am repeating as you can so you can acche se yaad rakh sakte ho aap when a ray of light passes from a rarer medium to denser medium it moves towards the normal that mean bends towards the normal it bends towards the normal and when the say when the ray of light passes from denser medium to the rarer medium it moves away from the normal this is refraction of light so this was an small activity based on refraction i hope you have understood and i hope this will help you to get your concept clear thank you so much guys and finally and finally we can calculate angle of refraction angle of incident ray here again and the angle of emergent emergence okay now last part of this experiment i is very really important i want to show you with the help of a laser light okay as you can see here i'm keeping the laser light here at the incident ray only and let's see where this light goes okay and here you can see the light is coming exactly at this point you can see here this 
as a CDM point, the emergent ray, not towards the 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 dotted line. So this proves this proves how the refraction occurs and how the light gets refracted. So we can measure the angles and we can get to know by what angle the the light gets reflected. Okay, guys. Thank you so much.